Hello guys, and welcome back! We were last left off, I believe I took Barcelona? Uh, it's been a while. I think it's been like two weeks since I last recorded uh, any content uh, for uh, the Netherlands campaign. Been doing exams, that's now over, so I'm free to do all my Let's Plays. I've said this on Sea Skylines and Mount Blade, that I am now free. I can do Let's Plays, nothing is really holding me back, except my own free will. So, without further ado, let's continue the march of the Evil Dutch Empire. So, uh, I don't believe I'm going to be moving from Barcelona anytime soon. I... Probably not. Right? Oh, wait! Yes, I can! Yes, okay, I need every man in the field. So, I, I need to get these armies moving out. I got vast reserves of manpower and money that I can just throw at this war. And I'm just, I just... I'm not doing it. I'm focusing on, like, the four main armies that I have, but I, I can probably do this. Why is this always five? This is always five. It's always just out of range. Can I just get, like, Dragoons or something here? No. Fine. We'll just keep killing the Swiss when they appear. Uh, okay. What about here? Bavaria is happy enough. So here I will make a rifleman army. In fact, I'll make a uh, one large conscript batch, and then I'll start. I'll start making uh, riflemen to replace them. Until then, you shall attack there. Need to destroy these armies behind my lines. Get rid of them. Good. Very good. Over here. Oh, we got a problem in Istanbul. Let's see, what what can I make? Got tons of conscripts. I need trained troops. So let's get some more riflemen. This was like the big problem. I need actual trained soldiers. Okay, in Greece we're doing fine. Over here we got a few rebellions on our hands. Although, I've nearly got a force to almost, uh, take over. How are we doing here? You'll need to go back to heal. This army is already healing. Uh, take out this German army, or just move them. Okay, over here. Massive artillery force, you'll be there for a while, I imagine. Uh, we shall get the conscripts. Great the uh, chemical weapons pr uh, plant, I guess. What's here? Uh, I need this army to be on the move. But it's, it's not going to move for a while anyway. It doesn't have the men. Uh, so, in the meantime, what do we got here? So if I take these out, this is the force I have. Okay, how many men can I take away before it becomes a problem? Can I take one more? Good. Okay, got another army ready to go. There is a there's a Dutch plane in the way. You can't go under the Dutch plane. No, you gotta move the Dutch plane. For some reason, that counts as an obstacle. Okay, so Germany's down to two. Just two. If this army goes to West Prussia and another army, uh, presumably this one, heads to Silesia, Germany is gone and the Ga Empire is again reduced to Austria Hungary. This could work. We might be able to push through to the Russian front at some point. If they do this, then nobody's defending the Baltic states. What do they got? Heavy field guns, flamethrowers. Nothing we can't handle. I'll see you all about that, folks. See you then. Okay, welcome to the battle. It's very important that we win here. I need to push on to West Prussia. I need to get through. I need to make some breakthroughs. Been sort of a stalemate around Austria. Then we've had to wait for Initiative 17 to be finished. It's still not quite there. We've got um the island of Sicily to still clear out from Serbia. And then we've got all of Scandinavia. 
But uh, hopefully, eventually, we'll all be able to move on and destroy everything. You know, as soon as we get for Russia or on to Japan, we'll take America over and then the world will be evil Dutch. Not just Dutch, they'll be evil Dutch. And the world will be much better for it. Who's who's with me? All all of you subscribers. <laughs> I mean, if you say you're not, uh, you'll all be disbanded. You know. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, yes. Don't know how I'm gonna really do this. I could send up these shotgunners, these trench gunners. We're actually taking quite a bit of damage. Uh. Not doing too much good, just sat behind the trench, so we'll, we'll send them up. They're quite expendable, so we'll see what happens. Even if it just draws out the others. Let's see, go, go attack those. Last time I checked, though, these people were, like, ungodly uh, inaccurate. So, go, just go, up there. If you take down the artillery up here, it would probably be great assets, was. Yeah. Just go kill them. Sir, they have shotguns! What are they, shooting us? No, they're kind of just clubbing us with them. Uh. Are we clubbing them? Are we. Do we have a. I don't know if we have bayonets. I don't believe we do. We're just kind of running around on them, though. Anyway, go take down the last one. Heavy field guns. Isn't this a close range weapon? Yes, and you can't get much closer than this. Then shouldn't we be firing the weapon? No! It's a it's a melee weapon. Uh sir, this is a gun. Yes. You su That's a flamethrower. Uh, you're supposed to use these and shoot, looks up. Have you ever fired one of these fins? Uh, a few times? Like, did you hit anyone? No? There you go, then. It's far more accurate to use them as a club than it is to use them as a shotgun. Oh god, this man with a flamethrower. And a knife! Oh god, not, not the knife. Oh well, they did, they did the job. They took down the artillery. But yeah, seriously, I'd rather use them as a club than an actual weapon, because they're much more accurate at whacking someone over the head than shooting them in wherever those planning on shooting them. I couldn't tell because they kept missing. So, in the meantime... Don't think our line has even been hit. Our main line, except this one. And, uh, yeah, we, we're doing pretty well. Just wait them out. Although, I'm not gonna wait them out. Because that's boring. You know, let's let's do something fun. Let's actually move up. The entire unit is let's leave the trench. Let's, let's do something different. Ah, there they are. There's everyone. At least so backed up by artillery, we shall take them all down. They don't all hit the side of the hill. Very good! The Evil Dutch Empire will rule the world in no time. Let's see. Yep, <laughs> that's all of them. Very good. Uh, yeah, in the battle. See the results. Okay, so I lost 389 men, and they lost 1,303 men, with 26 remaining. Yep, on to West Prussia, it seems. Might kill them and then move on, but, uh, still very much on to West Prussia. And here, we're getting the roughman that I need. Very good, everything's coming up. So... I believe I will see you next turn. Um... What? 
so we we can just intercept this random anti-tank sniper force. Uh, sure. Um, that that takes them both down. Don't know what that man was planning to accomplish. Gonna take down some tanks because the Dutch don't have any tanks. And I'll take down all the dragoons and old rifles you have. Over two thousand men dead. Uh. Okay, we won. Massive losses on my side, but, uh, you know, they can't afford to lose anyone. And another 2,000 men dead. All in all, good day. Very good day. I can't afford to not fight these men now. Although this is, uh, interception. And now it's a full-on battle. Uh, yep, so, see you on the battle map. Okay, so this is a bit of a weird one. So, I've sort of placed them in this staple formation. And I'm hoping that they'll charge into the center and these people will attack them from the sides. Because, uh, they only ever seem to spawn elite guard. Every time, it's only elite guard. I don't know why, and I wish they would stop, but, uh, there you go. If I had, like, an artillery piece or machine guns, this would be much easier, but all I can seem to get is riflemen. And, uh, the occasional conscript. Actually, that's the other way around. I don't have that many riflemen. And I wish I fought the last battle, so I didn't lose, like, 2,000 men. Just about. Anyway, you form up and help them. Gotta fight off everyone now. We're killing a few of them. Anyway, hopefully these men will attack the staple and the rest will probably come over here to, to fight the reinforcing uh, force. Yeah, that's... that's nice, but that's... that's not that helpful. I'm not even gonna bother because they'll just move back into position again. As soon as I tell them not to... Just seems to be... you know... I just said I wouldn't, but I am, because... I honestly don't understand. Okay, so it appears to be working. Appears to be flanking him somewhat. But it seems like the main force got dragged over here. Yeah, you're you're still turning. There's, there's no need to turn. Telling you, no need to turn. Like everyone else is doing. I know it may be tempting. It may be what you learned in school. It may be what all the cool kids are doing. But trust me, it's not tactically sound. So stop goddamn turning. Our men are running, sir. Well. It looks like we're gonna win anyway. At least, that depends on how many reinforcements I'm gonna get in. I believe I had a full city worth of reinforcements. And you are still... on your side. Please stop doing that. Here comes the Imperial Forces. get these people to dismount and fire, but in fact, I could just tell you to turn around and you can get a few shots off, I guess. If you come close. Yeah, attack that general. And everyone sort of just throw yourself into this fight. To be fair, I probably won't win. 
I gotta do something. But we we're actually soon to be down over here, so I can then probably start moving up now. As soon as they're done, as soon as they're done, I'll move them up. It's like I can't, I can't afford to like move them uh, too soon. Ever just just attack there? Cause you don't appear to want to fire your gun. You just kept sort of creeping forward. Okay, there we go. Now, as a cohesive unit, fire your gun. This is a direct order from the Karzi. Fire the goddamn gun. If I wanted you to charge, I would have armed you with swords. If I would want you to turn sideways, I swear to Christ, I would have told you to turn sideways. I would have been like, yeah, you want to turn that way. Very good. But no, they're telling you to face that way. To face that way. Come on. Anyway, let's move the staple over here. We seem to cut most of them. Are these like gangsters? It's like, oh yeah, if, if you tilt yourself on the side, you look cooler. God damn. Damn these people. Hey, we won. Okay. I'll come back with the results and I'll end the part. So, see you then. Okay, so they lost 1,540 men, and I lost 931 men. Let's see him try to attack me again, because they probably will. Okay, Switzerland is riding again. Got two million people. Yep, two million people. Four million there. How many people are in Amsterdam? It's quite a lot. Who's actually got the most? Is it France? Could be France. Is it Spain? No, it's not Spain. Rome? No. Uh, Russia? Maybe? Moscow? How many has Moscow got? Can't see. Currently, I think uh, France is actually the winner. But anyway, that is the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.